hello viewers welcome to my channel today's topic is uh, sickle cell test uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and uh, share these videos uh, to support this channel and if you need more information you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link is just uh, below this video in the description area you know topic is what is sickle cell test and uh, why do doctors order this and uh, how is it performed and the interpretation of the results you know? you know the sickle cell test is a simple blood test you know which is used to uh, determine if you have sickle cell disease or the sickle cell trait you know and the sickle cell disease is a group of inherited red blood cell disorders you know and the people with this disease have red blood cells that are shaped abnormally and instead of looking like uh, uh, donuts you know like uh, normal red blood cells you know they are shaped like the crescent moon you know okay and uh, uh, the disease is named for the c-shaped form uh, tool known as sickle you know? okay and uh, the sickle cells often become hard and uh, they become sticky and which can increase the risk of blood clots you know and they also tend to die off early you know and uh, uh, this causes a constant shortage of red blood cells you know and the people with the sickle cell trait are uh, genetic carriers of the sickle cell disease you know they have no symptoms or cannot develop the sickle cell disease you know but they may be able to pass on to the to their children you know so they act as carriers you know and uh, those with the trait they may have a higher risk of uh, other complications including like uh, unexpected uh, uh, exercise related deaths you know and uh, you know the the sickle cell test is a part of the uh, routine screening performed for a baby after it's born you know uh, but it can be used to, on the older children or maybe on the adults if it's needed you know you know the newborns are uh, regularly screened for sickle cell diseases uh, soon after birth you know and uh, early diagnosis is the key because the children with the sickle cell disease may may be more vulnerable to serious infections uh, within weeks of birth you know and the testing and detection early helps to ensure the infants so with the sickle cell get the proper treatment uh, to protect their health you know and other people who uh, should get tested them include like uh, the immigrants uh, who have not been tested in their home countries you know or maybe the children who uh, move from one state to other state you know or maybe anyone uh, like displaying the symptoms of the disease you know uh, you know uh, the disease causes uh, uh, the symptoms like uh, anemia or uh, maybe uh, paleness or the shortness of breath and uh, yellowing of the skin you know and the eyes you know or jaundice you know and uh, uh, like uh, frequent infections and pains in the legs arms and uh, chest you know or delayed growth or maybe uh, meal problems as well and uh, well your doctor will need your blood sample you know uh, to test for this uh, sickle cell disease you know and uh, uh, it's the same procedure you know as uh, the nurse or the lab technician will uh, place an elastic band around your arm upper arm you know and uh, uh, just to increase the flow of the blood in the veins and then he will take he will just puncture the and uh, weighing with the needle to take out the sample you know and uh, there may be a little bit bruise or a little bit pain but there's no serious complication associated with this uh, uh, procedure to draw draw the blood you know and when infants uh, are very young the children are uh, uh, you know in that case uh, your nurse or the lab technician may use uh, the sharp tool called the uh, lancet uh, to puncture the skin uh, on the heel or on the finger you know and then 
uh, and they will collect the blood uh, on a slide or uh, the test strip you know uh, you know next thing is uh, the interpretation of the results you know you know the lab technician will send uh, uh, the sample to the lab you know and where it will be examined uh, or in fact the lab technicians are the pathologists they will be histopathologists they will be looking for uh, the abnormal form of the hemoglobin you know which is called hemoglobin s you know and uh, regular hemoglobin is a protein uh, carried by the red blood cells you know and it picks up oxygen in the lungs and delivers it to the all the body parts you know all the body cells you know throughout the body and uh, like all proteins the blueprint for the hemoglobin exists in your dna you know. so the material that makes up your genes and if one of the genes is altered or muted uh, like mutated you know it can change how the hemoglobin behaves you know and such mutated or the normal hemoglobin can create red blood cells that are the sickle cell shaped uh, like sickle shape you know leading to the sickle cell disease you know and a sickle cell test looks only for the presence of the hemoglobin s which uh, which causes the uh, that uh, uh, sickle cell disease you know and a negative test means there's no abnormality found and if the test is positive which means that there were abnormal uh, hemoglobins found in the blood you know okay uh, in the red blood cells you know and uh, uh, if the test is positive, your doctor will probably order the second test uh, called uh, uh, hemoglobin electrophoresis, which is a bit advanced test, you know, just to confirm the diagnosis. And this will help to determine which condition you have, you know, which type of the sickle cell disease you have, you know. And if the test shows you have two abnormal hemoglobin genes, uh, you will likely be diagnosed with the sickle cell disease, you know. And uh, But if the test shows that you have only one uh, abnormal gene you know uh, and no symptoms which means that uh, you are the carrier you know okay uh, and you will be diagnosed with having a sickle cell trait uh, thank you very much for watching this video and you know uh, after the test you will be able to drive home and there is no complication associated with the test itself you know okay Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more information every day. Thank you and goodbye.